A study from 2008 suggests that our perceptions change how we experience pain. In the study, 43 participants were put in one of two conditions. In the devil condition, they were introduced to a study partner, then they were put in a private room with a screen. They were told that different tasks would appear on the screen, and the study partner would choose which task they did. They would be able to see the different tasks and which one their partner chose for them. While most of the tasks were harmless, one of them delivered a painful electric shock to the participants. Over and over again, the participants watched as the study partner deliberately chose for them to get shocked, even though there was always a less painful option available. In the angel condition, the experiment was exactly the same, except the participant got the opposite task from what the study partner chose. Over and over again, the study partner chose the kinder task, but the computer switched their decision and the participant was shocked. In truth, the devil and angel conditions were exactly the same. The only difference was how the participants perceived the study partner. In the devil condition, when the participant thought the study partner was deliberately shocking them, they reported the shocks as much more painful and they took much longer to adapt to the pain. In the angel condition, when they thought the study partner was trying to give them the kinder tasks, the participants got used to the shocks much more quickly and reported them as less painful. This information has an incredibly useful application. If someone hurts us, we can take the sting out of their actions. While some people truly act with malice and should be cut out of our lives, for the most part, people are just acting in their own self-interest and trying to make themselves feel better. Focusing on the measurable loss instead of your perception of people's motives can save you from a lot of suffering. For example, if you lose $5 by accident, you probably won't be bothered. But if someone scams you out of $5, you would be furious. However, the actual measurable loss is exactly the same. If you just focus on the actual loss of $5, instead Instead of the perceived intentions of the scammer, you can reduce the pain from the situation and move on more quickly.